Okay, I'm going to take you down memory lane real fast, right? And share with you what happened when I created my very first online course and why it flopped. When I created my first course, I knew nothing about course creation. All I knew was that I was super creative and I had knowledge that I wanted to share with the world. I was really good with filming videos and teaching my tutorials and teaching how to do things. And so the creation part of the course was not difficult for me at all. However, when it came down to selling the course, I literally just packed up the information and bundled it up and got it ready, built the pages on WordPress and all of that. And I was hoping that, well, because I created a course that my followers will come by. Unfortunately, that course flopped. Only two people bought the course. It was a mobile video creation course or something like that, teaching people how to create videos on their phones. And nobody bought the course, despite the fact that I had so many people asking me, how do you make your videos? How do you create your videos? Can you teach me how to edit on the phone? I created a course, but nobody bought the course when it was ready. And so I, I share that with you because I want you to think about where you are right now in your course creation process. If you've created a course or if you haven't already, I want you to walk all the way back and stop trying to finish the course before you sell it. And this is the idea that I want to implant in your mind today. Don't finish the course before you try to sell it. All right. So this conversation of how should we create an online course that sells takes you back into the idea that you sell the course before you create it. So you don't create the course and then sell it. You sell it and then you create it. I'm going to break it down for you and, and then some, all right? Now, when I created that online course, right, I was so sure that it was going to sell because it was a great idea. Everybody wanted to learn how to create videos on their phones, but I was super shocked that nobody bought it. Despite the fact that I had followers, I had people in my DMs, I had people who were, you know, asking for help and stuff. Nobody wanted to buy the course. And so over time, I have learned the very simple secret about course creation, especially in the beginning. Whatever idea you have, try to sell the idea before you create the very first video or the very first material of the course and find out if anybody wants to buy that idea. So what I want to share with you in this uh, video today is how to sell the course and then create it, not how to create the course and find out how to sell it, okay? So this is how to create an online course that sells. You're going to sell it before you create it. And there's several ways that you can do this. One, you want to take that idea and present it to people in a one-to-one -one setting. That means you're coaching people one-to-one -one through that idea that you have. Two, you want to take that idea and coach people one to many. That means you're doing like a group coaching session, which will be maybe one to six people, one to 10 people, depending on the capacity that you can handle, right? Three, you take that course idea and you teach it as a general free workshop or a free class. You teach that course for free and you find out the people who are coming in or you teach like a tiny little section of the course for free just to validate that people are actually interested. I'm going to give you a very quick scenario from that right now, teaching the course for free. So say your course has six modules. You want to take module one and present it to your followers right now the audience that you have right now, whether they are on a Facebook group or they are on Pinterest or YouTube or Instagram, wherever you have your audience right now, you want to begin to share with them that you have a class, that you have a free workshop or something like that, and you want to introduce that idea to them. This will help you do several things. First of all, you'll be able to judge by the number of registrations for your free class if people are actually interested in this topic. And then when you start getting people signing up for your free class, you're going to get into that class and grab as many questions as you can. This is market research so that you are covering that topic entirely because your students are the ones who are going to tell you what to create. They are the ones who are going to share with you the pain that they are having, the trouble that they're having around this topic. And if you're able to get that information from the market, of the people who have the problem, then you will have the right information to write in your sales letters, 
to write in your emails, to write in your content, because now you are writing from the place of pain of the people who are actually going through the problem that you're trying to solve with your course. And so what a free class will do for you in the very beginning is one, it will help you find out if there are people who are actually interested in this topic, Two, it will help you grow an email list of people who will potentially then buy the course when it is ready. Three, it will help you get market research because now you have people who you can ask questions in the class and you, you have people who can share with you what their real problems are. You need this real data from real people that you have access to because if you don't, you're just going to be running blind and creating something just straight off your head and saying, oh, it's so creative. Oh, it's such a wonderful idea. And then it will be like a wonderful idea for you but not a wonderful idea for anybody else. And so if you can commit yourself to doing this, it's a very simple process. Just create a free class. Now this free class is not something that you're doing like Instagram live or Facebook live. Uh, uh. This free class is exclusive. It's closed. It's something that you do in, you can do this in a Facebook group. Yes, that's closed, but it's something that you do like via zoom or a webinar and you have people in the class with you who are going to ask you questions. And trust me, when people are in classes like that, they like to have engagement. They like to have engagement with the coach and they want to ask questions. And so you're going to grab all those questions as market research and then use that to build out your course. Finally, the other thing that you can actually do is pre-sell the course in this free class. This is how you can create a course that sells because one, you already have market research. You have proven to these people that you have the information that they are looking for, which is why they're in your class in the first place. And now while they are in your class, you can say to them, even though you haven't created the course yet, or you can say to them, Oh, by the way, I have this fantastic course that is so simple for you to go through and understand that will help you create the results that you're seeking. If you're interested, you can pre-order the course right now for so and so price before the price goes up. And just imagine that you have maybe 50 people in your class or a hundred people in your class and 20 people take up your offer. You have pre-sold your course even before you created it. And now you have the right research. You have the right information about the problem that people are having that will help you actually build out a curriculum or a module uh, set that actually calls to the people who need to buy this course. And when your course is finally ready, all you have to do is speak in the language that you have learned your people understand, or you have learned that your people are speaking when they talk about their problems and their pain points. This has been such a wonderful, so much information has poured out of my mouth and I hope you are taking notes. I hope that all of this has helped you. I want to tell you something very, very, very important. The reason that I became so very passionate about all of this, right? was because when we created KoboCourse.com, which is our course hosting platform for uh, creators and coaches, we found the common trend. And the trend was so many creators were uploading courses to KoboCourse.com, but they were not making sales. And I began to understand the pattern. And the pattern was creatives are creative. They just create the courses and they hope that because they create the courses and they have a fan base, then they just have to tell their fan base, oh, go and buy this course and they'll buy it. And it always ends in tears. It ends in premium tears and disappointment. People don't make a move. You literally have to move people through the process of the creation of that course so that they feel like they are a part of it. And once you validated this offer the way I have shared with you now, and you have pre-sold the offer even before creating it, now you have leverage because this 20, 10, 30 people who have pre-ordered the course and bought the course ahead of hand, will enjoy the course, consume the course, and give you early testimonials. Now, with testimonials, you can launch again the second time, boom, pow, into the market, and make sales for this course even more than you did the first time. So, if you have enjoyed this video today, you have enjoyed this conversation, definitely drop me a comment in the comment section down below. I wanna know, what are you currently working on? What 
idea are you working with? What course are you trying to create? And what is the biggest issue that you are having when it comes to creating this course right now?